guys, welcome to another day with Jesus. The word of God is like a fresh spring that can direct your day and your life. Each day comes with new mercies and a new word. So here's a new word for you today. Good morning my dear friends. Greetings to you in the mighty name of Jesus. You know, the name of Jesus is the greatest name, is the greatest currency. It is the greatest power. It is the greatest uh, you know, greatest material or of substance that speaks in the spirit world, in the spiritual world, you know, more than your life, more than your words, more than your prayers, it's the name of Jesus. When you pray in the name of Jesus, when you greet in the name of Jesus, when you conquer in the name of Jesus, when you when you fight in the name of Jesus, I'm telling you, there is nothing that is impossible for you. And that's what we learned about yesterday, how Jesus is going to bring revival, how Jesus is going to bring uh, fair decisions and justice to the poor and the oppressed. Today, we're going to discuss what is going to be our response to that. So many times, God is moving for us. God is... Uh, doing something for us and yet we do not respond back and yet we do not do anything about it. But this is what we read in Isaiah chapter 12. If you know, we've been studying through the book of Isaiah. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 12 and verse 4, In that wonderful day you will sing, Thank the Lord, praise His name, Tell the nations what he has done. Let them know how mighty he is. You should understand this something. That whenever God does something, when we do not couple it up with worship and, and, and honor and glorifying God and thanking God, sometimes we lose the blessing that we have received from the Lord. You know, there were 10 lepers that were healed by Jesus out of which only one of them came back to thank the Lord. And the Bible says how that one that came back received a wholeness, received completeness, received uh, a totality of healing, totality of forgiveness, totality of blessing. So often we just receive the first glimpse of blessing and we get out of the presence of God and we never come back to church and we never come back to the presence of God. And that is why we continue to live in sickness. That is why the sickness comes back. That is why the struggles come back. Let me tell you a key. If the Lord heals you, you need to go all out. You, you know, you cannot, you cannot hold back. You know, the Bible says it like this. It says, when one demon leaves and he comes back and finds the house empty, then he will bring seven more painful, powerful, more destructive demons, more wicked demons than that one demon and come back and fill you again. See, that is why it is necessary that you, you respond with worship. And here Isaiah is saying, when God does deliver me, according to the promise in Isaiah 11, when God does do great things for us, this is going to be my response. In that wonderful day, you will sing one of the greatest expressions of worship is singing though that is not the only expressions as somebody some people think uh, but that is also one powerful expression that you will begin to sing there will be a song on your lips all through the time and and that's what the bible says in that wonderful day you will sing thank the lord uh, praise his name you know so so first thing is that you will sing second thing is that you will thank the lord now just like that leper came back to thank jesus for healing him you will begin to thank the lord what are the things in your life today that you you can be thankful to him for instead of asking for greater blessings or more breakthrough in your life can you just thank the lord for what he has already done for you till today you know, we are sometimes the most uh, ungrateful people on the planet. Uh, I'm talking about us Christians because we have received so much from God and God has shown us how so many things in our life is is a blessing from him and yet we remain so ungrateful. Yet we yet we take these blessings and these provisions for granted. Can you thank the Lord today? Can this day be a day of thanking him? 
can this day be a day of singing his singing his praise and, and the third thing that he says is praise his name like i began telling you this morning it is the name of jesus that is the currency for your victory that is the that is the battle plan it is the strategy for your breakthrough and if you can praise his name i'm telling you if you can continue to praise his name you will continue to live in victory you will continue to live in that healing you will continue to live in that forgiveness you will continue to live in that uh, breakthrough that you received in your finances and it says praise his name how do you do that it says you got to tell the nations what he has done let them know how mighty he is you know so many times we think that worship or praise is only about us worshiping god it's just between you and the lord but if you read the scriptures it's not just about you telling god how good he is but it's also you telling others you telling yourself you telling the nations the bible says tell the nations what he has done tell them how mighty he is that is an expression of your praise and your worship if your worship is just limited between you and him and that's why i have problem when people come to church and they just don't uh express in worship they don't they just stand quietly saying i'm worshiping god in my heart i'm telling you that is incomplete worship you if you're worshiping him people around you need to hear what you're worshiping him for people around you need to hear how you are worshiping him people around you need to hear how mighty he is you they need to know what god has done for you and and that is the power of worship that is the that is what makes your worship complete let me read the things that that is written here once again one that you will have a song in your lips second that you will be thankful third that you will praise the name of god praise the name of jesus and fourth that you will tell the nations what god has done and you will tell them how mighty he is that is the kind of worship that is going to please the lord so do that today sing a new song thank him for what he has done praise the name of jesus and release the name of jesus and declare the name of jesus over your circumstances and fourth look for at least five people around you that you can meet and tell them what god has done for you how god has healed you how god has saved you how god has delivered you how god has taken you into the next level and and that will be your expression of worship for jesus this morning that's all for now i will catch up with you tomorrow morning thank you for tuning in today If you would like to read more and be inspired by the weekly blog posts by Pastor Priji and Rashmi log on to pastorpriji.com